Yeah, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Captain Casual Gamer, and we are launching a brand new campaign here on the channel on Her Majesty's Silent Service. In 1984, tensions are building along the Iron Curtain. The Warsaw Pact's for uh, forces are launching a devastating surprise attack against the Fulda Gap. Central Europe is plunged into war, and NATO nations struggle to push back. Resupply convoys from the states are crucial to the war effort and must be defended. The Royal Navy's Commander of Submarine Operations assigns us to the Norwegian Sea and North Atlantic in an attempt to maintain control of the situation at sea. And it's tricky. All right, well, let's get started. And uh, sure, yeah, we'll take that. Yes, let's overrate it. And what do we got? Oberon. Do we have other stubs to choose from? Oh, we do. Okay. Valiant. Uh, let's see, yeah, Valiant, okay. Churchill. Doesn't seem to be a big difference between the uh, Churchill and the Valiant. And that Trafalgar class, oh, I like that. Self noise of 115 decibels. Um, that's weapons, none, yeah, none. Oh, but yeah, nope. You know what? Let's go with Trafalgar. We'll take that. Insufficient prestige. Oh, are you kidding? How about that? No. Uh, no. Oh, is this one of the... Uh, really? So, we have the HMS Opportune. Good luck. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck. Yeah, okay, so I think we'll need the luck. Oh. New President-elect Ronald Reagan has, because, has begun his term in office by taking a harsh stance. Mm. Krishnab's legacy, stagnation, and paranoia. Ooh. And oh, we're provoking the bear, and Thatcher is dragging us in. Oh, that's right, because we're British this time. Murder in the air. Soviets down to Soviet uh, civilian airliner. Oh boy. Pershing missiles dis deployed in West Germany. And oh, you learned to write. I thought it was real. Yeah. And Soviets attack. Well. So we go to Green 311. that's it all right let's go to green surface targets. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's lie and wait. Makers. All right, so we are quiet. That's it. Okay. Now let's go quiet. Let's go silent. Just silent. On sound our new rig ship for ultra quiet. All right, Sierra One. So let's. Con sound our new contact bearing zero seven five designated Sierra. Four. Make depth four zero feet. Die by. Raise the ESM mast. Raise the radar mast. Con, dive at four zero feet. Dive by. Okay. The Sierra one. Con sonar master two is classified as merchant. Zero one. Why are we so 
Oh, really? Okay. Lower the radar mast. We're down to two. How deep can we go with this thing? It's 150 feet. Okay. Let's bring it down to two five feet. zero feet. Die by. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. Yeah. How much do I want to bet? That's a whiskey. Which way? So. Con, dive at two five zero feet. Dive by. Con, sonar, new contact bearing one one five. Designated Sierra three. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as submerged submarine. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Where are you going? Ten degree left rudder. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as submerged submarine. Thank you for that. It's very quiet. Thirty two knots max speed whiskey. I'm not even sure that's a whiskey at this point. Yeah, I I will. Nope. You are Victor. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. Let these two pass us. And then keep going. We we are not that much shallower. Okay. Let's let them go. Let's let them get past us. The idea is gonna be to go back between them. And then fire. Oops, I have a microphone, folks. Fire. Wow. That's close. Yeah, I like that friggin' guy. It's uh, Sierra 3, so we're off. We're up there somewhere. We're up here. What up here? That's what I want to do. All right, so let's let's wait until we get in the baffles and we'll fire. I do I have no? Of course I don't have a totary.
Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, there he is, right there. Right there. That's Thera 1. I thought he was a lot deeper than that. Thera 1. Knock it off. I'm not trying to do that. Yeah, that's him. Might be busy. The dude's at a thousand feet. Where do you think he's coming from? So he is. I don't know where he is. All right. Well, fine. We're good. Uh, Seventeen knots maximum speed. Wow. That's awesome. Where speed is everything. We can go a blistering. Dev crap. The Victor 3 is coming at us. Or the uh, Sierra 3 is coming at us. Oh, and he's going shallower too. That's just great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, let's see how things play out, right? Yeah, both of these guys are at 900 change feet. Okay, so if we're lucky Sierra 3 will pass us. Speed things up a little bit. Alright. Finger slipped. If they launch a torpedo at us, we're finished. No decoys. Did we get lucky? I think we got lucky. Okay, we got very fortunate. Right there. Con sonar lost contact. Master two. Last bearing three. Two. Two. Contact is in the baffles. There he is. There he is. We turn it around and we'll take him out. Sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing three zero six. Okay. Shoot two one, I sir.
rear right rudder. Let's try to put ourselves in a good position, a gooder position to take a shot at Sierra One. And at the same time, we'll get out of the way of any shots that Sierra Three throws back our way. While we're waiting for that to happen, I use OBS to uh, do the screen capture. And OBS just went through a major redesign and a major, uh, major set of updates. So I'm hoping that the audio, I mean, after I finally get it all set up properly, um, I hope the audio is okay. So if someone could let me know in the uh, notes please I would appreciate it a little bit of much uh, let's go come right to three one three helm I right. and you are gonna do a search pattern like that and do the snake pattern search pattern that Torpedo is not moving super fast. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hope our torpedo is going faster than 10 knots. Right, so smoothly. Go deep. Yeah, we got four of these. Four different. Oh, that's not the same one. That'd be stupid. There. Yeah, this is. Uh, what is this one? Made in France. Oh, it's a uh, waterman. You got my waterman. I've got a cross that uh, I lost track of a few years ago. Turns out that someone that I had loaned it to decided to leave it sitting in his desk. Or sitting in a one of those uh, pen holders on his desk for a very long time. And I've got the fourth one downstairs. The general supply is, uh, oh, wow. Uh, Doom approaches. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. This one in. But, uh, yeah, I really like uh, fountain pens because they're so smooth and they write so well. Then a bunch of calligraphy pens as well. I tried to get into that for a bit. I think I've mentioned in the past that I've done a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. Here we go with contact. First kill of the day. Con sonar lost contact. Awesome. Sierra three. Last bearing, two, three, three, contact breaking up. Nice, 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 nice. All right, Victor one. Sorry, Victor two, a Sierra one. Let's go after you, chum. Come left to two, nine, four, helm, I. And what are you at year? Oh, yeah, we don't know. 
let's drop down to uh, what do we what can we go 650 feet I guess yes 650 so let's drop down to 550 make depth five five zero feet dive high and he's at nine and a half thousand yards This thing goes thirty-five thousand yards. Really? Con helm, steady course. It, are you kidding me? That's nuts. Okay. Well then, let's go ahead since it can go so far for so long. Yeah, we're we won't hear a thing. Okay. Shoot two two. Aye, sir. Pew pew. You know, let's go ahead and fire that one off. And get things uh, get things going. Get things rocking the real. Where was I? Fountain pens. Yeah. Really, really enjoy writing with a fountain pen. And oh yeah, yeah, calligraphy. That's what it was. Um yeah, I started getting into uh, into calligraphy. And that's just uh Yeah, I know. Old pen. Old man uh, happiness. It's actually, uh, I, I really enjoy the calligraphy, and I think that as a society, we've lost a lot um, by not you know, not writing. Everyone that, that uh, well, everyone younger than me, anyways, doesn't use a pen and a paper. Or many people, I should say, that younger than I am, don't use pen and paper. They don't know how to write. They don't even know Come how to dive write. Dive at five, five, zero feet, dive by. They don't, they don't know how to write. They can curse it. Instead, it's printing. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are going to say, well, you know, technology, Grandpa. Technology is making everything advance so much. But you know what? Technology breaks. Batteries run out. A pencil? In all case, of the lead snaps. Big deal. You can grind it down with your own teeth if you don't have a sharpener. You know what I mean? So, there's lots of things. Lots of things that uh, that can happen. Lots of things that can go wrong with either, either technology, if you will, pen and paper, or, or a phone. But, I don't know, I just like the idea of writing something out. Because <clears throat> when you write, it just sticks to, you know, it sticks up here. Whoops. A lot closer than I originally anticipated, aren't you? Yep, look at that. And yeah, I mean... It, it just works better that way. I find, anyways. Uh, for my work, I wind up taking... I was taking quite a few courses over the years, and even though they were delivered online, and I've got, you know screen recording like OBS I, I recorded I did the screen recording for sure however I also took a lot of notes right here pen and paper right um, Dungeons and Dragons this book actually contains years literally years worth of, uh, of notes that I took when I was uh, dungeon master It's just the thing, it, it sticks more and it makes more sense to me. And it's easier to scratch stuff out and start over again, and that way you can at least draw a line to it and start something over, rewrite it, whatever. You can go back to what you, you know, lined out and review it and say, wait a minute, yeah, that was a good idea instead of, you know, in a Word document, you know, that, that was possible. Whatever, you wind up deleting something. What? What did I say or what did I do you know, minutes ago? It's like I don't remember. I deleted it, so I'm good now. I think, however, it would be smart of us to uh, change course. So you know what? Let's pull. Come left to two, six, nine. Helm, I. Pull a stunt from. 
Star Trek Balance of Terror, the original series. If you haven't seen A Balance of Terror, oh my god, you have to drop what you're doing after this video and go watch it. It is an absolutely incredible, incredible episode of Star Trek the original series. Uh, it, it's so reminiscent of... where a German sub is being depth charged by an American destroyer. When Silent Run Deep, I think is the name. Con, Helm, uh, Steady I Course. And uh, this, I'm telling you, it's... It is just as tense and intense as that. And it's... Yeah. I mean, there, there's not a lot of pew, 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 and a lot of that junk and jazz going on. But it's it's really, well, it's really intense. Let's just leave it at that. Speed things up just a little bit here so we can. Uh... So we can, uh, well, move it along. So once we start searching, we'll get off of the super speed, and then we'll just drive it straight down. Because I definitely don't want this thing going after the merchant. However, Victor, you're fair game, number two. It's zero one, Victor two, blah, 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 you know. You know how it goes. All right. There we are. There he is. This is almost unfair. But I don't care. It's almost, almost unfair. You know, rinse and repeat, right? And here I thought with this uh, Oberon sub, things were going to be, uh, well, you know, and that we were going to be seriously outclassed. And well, while we are seriously outclassed, I guess, well, I, I was going to say tactics, but just pure poop luck. We're 30 minutes, 28 minutes in, yeah, pure shit luck. Um, we were able to slip right between the two victors. I mean, unfortunately for them, they weren't paying attention, I guess. Or their sonar operators... Gone. fire control, weapon acquired. Their sonar operators were just, you know, whatever. Oh, I thought it was a piece of crap on my monitor, but nope, it's not. It is a torpedo. Let's see. Is it going to be the best view? Sure. That works. Yep, poor Victor. Just going along. Trying to be nice and stealthy and quiet and stuff. Side. Master Tier. All right. Well, that's kind of fun, right? We just had our merchant foul. All right, folks. Well, that's it. We are free and clear to go. Let's see what happens. Yep, escape that. Escape that. We can leave combat. We sunk everyone. Experience gained 57,520. Group efficiency increase, we've earned 100, uh, we've earned 40 prestige for a total of 140 prestige. And our total tonnage is uh, sunk, 14,280, so awesome. Thank you very much, folks, for joining me for this episode of, uh, for this in inaugural episode of um, Honor Majesty's Secret Service. Uh, if you like what I do here, you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider so as your subscription would mean a great deal to the channel 
if you have already subscribed to the channel, then thank you so much because your subscription means a great deal to the channel. If you like cold waters, you want to see more of it, you know what to do. Give these videos a thumbs up, and if you have any tips, tricks, comments, questions, solutions, qualms, or complaints, you know what to do. Leave them in the comment section, I would love to read them. However, on that note though, this is me, Captain Casual Gamer, saying ciao, or now.